Hey, welcome back to the channel. I am back in the shop and uh, what I'm working on today is I'm actually getting my um, control stick assembly put together. And once I get all the pieces here um, assembled, we'll uh, get it in the airplane here. I've already got the rear um, uh, bearing block in place right there. So now I'll jump and uh, <clears throat> once I put the stick in, I can get the front bearing block in place. And uh, that'll be uh, super cool. Um, I wanted to paint these. I have to, um, let's see, I have a couple of uh, things. Well, obviously, I, I wanted to paint these after I got them painted. Now that I'm assembling them, it's re scraping the paint. Uh, installed it, because that was a pretty tight fit. It doesn't fit. really need to be touched up a whole lot because so I've got we'll, this, uh, have to touch uh, that up a little that bit has to go after it's on uh, the back once the installed. bearing block is on it, and actually the bearing It doesn't really need to be touched up a whole lot because I've got this that, so. uh, ring that has to go on the back once the bearing block <coughs> is on. Probably better off just the to bearing block will be covering the majority of that. So <coughs> probably better off probably just better to, off just to leave that alone actually. Um, so that's probably what I'll do. I did have to make the brake, a uh, couple components for the brake. One of them mounts to the stick, and uh, I've got the holes drilled over there for where that bracket mounts um, for the uh, band brake. Uh, you can see the this part mounts to the stick as well. I'm going to just leave this as is. Chrome, I'm not going to paint that. <clears throat> but I will uh, get this assembled. And uh, that'll be good. So I was just getting those, uh, going to get the bracket on with the A and 5's um, 3-5 bolts. And then I'll get the, I believe I need a, a washer because when I did it the last time I had too many, I had too many threads. So I'll put a couple washers in there. And then we'll put these uh, nuts on, get my tools out here, and uh, yeah, this will be just right. Um, this will leave about two threads sticking out. I think I had four, maybe before. All right, let me get some tools, and we'll get that put together. Um, and uh, I just did it completely backwards, so i got to flip these around. i got to go this way. There we go. I have my gloves on because I was spray painting the other parts uh, that I just made. Spray painting those outside. So I will uh, go out there and check on those. It's getting kind of cool out, so I think my spray painting is probably over and I can't really do anymore. But uh, we'll find out. All right, so I'll get that bracket on and then we'll get it positioned in place on the top of the stick here where the bolts go through. Those are 3-14s <clears throat> that go all the way through the stick. So I'm gonna check on my parts, I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm gonna get the stick portion in here. And uh, I've gotta use 3-14s uh, again. And this is gonna take some washers, so. Um, One, two, three, four. Got to get those inserted. And I believe these are 14s right here. Check them out. Yep, 14s. Got those four. And we'll get our stick over here. All right, so so we have um, this and then a washer. 
Then we have the stick. Run through the tube, and then the washer, and then through the other bracket, and then a nut. Alright, that gets us started. So. And then we do that again. All right, so I got my uh, stick assembly all put together here, uh, and it took uh, just took a little while to get everything get everything correct. I actually had um, I had these brackets backwards the first time because everything didn't line up perfectly. So now I will get uh, I will get this assembly uh, in the airplane. Uh, so I've got to get find my well, here, let me uh, get this kind of situated. I, I'm gonna need some additional light, I believe. So, all right, so we'll get this uh, get this down in here. And, uh... Okay, so that is tight against the uh, back here. And now I'll get my collar. Um, and we'll figure out exactly uh, which direction this thing's going to go. Going to have to clean it out. One second. So if you remember right, um, the reason that we did this is because we need to get the elevator cable um, in place before um, we kind of close things up. So uh, that's the that's the main purpose for why we wanted to get this in but it's uh, it's okay to get it in before we cover no big deal uh, I'll just kind of uh, uh, it'll it'll just stay in place once we get everything kind of arranged here so now I'll just take the elevator cable and push it back a little bit I'll go ahead and just temporarily um, put it in and um, that way we can kind of check everything out and we'll be ready to uh, ready to jump um, jump to the next step which will just be uh, just basically just a little bit of preparation just to uh, get everything situated and then uh, we're gonna put fabric on so okay um, I will uh, let me just get this elevator cable in and then I'll be right back all right so I've got uh, I got everything everything situated here um, you can see how this goes. The only thing I have to do is I have to actually remove the. Uh, I've got to remove the clevis and get that uh, same safety. Uh, I was just kind of test fitting everything, and then I'll go. I'll go back and remove the uh, clevis there. You can see how that attaches right there. And uh, just basically, there's a bushing that uh, is sandwiched between the two, uh, the two uprights here, and. Uh, and then this bolts through this aluminum plate um, the same way that it kind of does in the back. So, um, yeah, everything is uh, working really good and just how it's supposed to. And so this, uh, uh, the same safety here has to be installed uh, on the front as it is on the back and I've kind of got my tubes cut over here somewhere already so I'm all set for that I'll get that uh, I'll get that in place next time um, but uh, hey um, thanks for hanging out with me I do appreciate it. it's good to be back in the shop getting some more work done on the plane and uh, every uh, every step is a step in the right direction it's a step forward and that's what we're doing here uh anxiously awaiting that phone call saying that i can go pick up my engine so 
I hope that comes any day now. And uh, hey, I will uh, I'll catch you guys later. Happy New Year.